Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, we're going to talk about class and location tracking in QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. Now, class tracking and location is only available in the Plus account. It's not available in Essentials QuickBooks subscription. So I'm going to show you how to activate uh, these features in QuickBooks Online. So let's go to the gear icon and then account and settings. And then under advance, we see under categories, track class and track locations. So we want to go to the pencil to the right and check track classes. Warn me when the transaction is assigned to a class. Yes. And then track locations. And also we can have class for each row in a transaction or for the entire transaction. Now I usually do for each row in a transaction. And for location, we want to choose our label. We can have a business, department, division, location, property, store, or territory. We will do location and let's click and save. Okay, now that the categories are on, we can go and check them out to see what is the difference between these two and how we can use them. Once you have set up your categories, you can add your location and classes by going to the gear icon, all list, and then locations or classes. So let's add a couple locations so we can see um, how the transactions are recorded. I'm going to create um, a couple of locations and then you have several options here. If these apply to you, you can select them. So let me put a couple locations in here. Now we can do our classes by going to list and classes. I'm going to add a few classes here so we can see how these work on the transactions. Okay, I added a couple of classes here and now we can go to the expenses. I'm going to go to um, Tanya's nursery and I'm just going to um, adjust one of these transactions already in here. I'm going to do this one. Let's see, and here's the location. So we can have, um, let's put this on second street and let's just say in second street um, we sold some white roses this is the class as you can see the class and this is the options that we were giving do we want to track the whole transaction as um, with one class or several classes because let's say out of um, 108 let's say um, 50 were a different color roses so I'm just going to use the same thing and 50 and let's say these were red roses see we can track different classes in one transaction but if we had chosen the whole entire transaction we can only use one class with location it's for the entire transaction so what I'm saying here is that on the second location I sold $58 of white roses and $50 of red roses and we're going to see those on the reports that we create let me create a, a few more transactions with um, using the several locations and then I'll come back and we can look at some reports Okay, so now let's go see a few reports. If I go to profit and loss, and I want to see the expenses I did for locations. So I go to display the columns by location. I'm going to select this here, okay, and then run report. As you can see, we have first street, second street, third street, and here are the transactions that, here are the expenses that we did by location. If we want to show by class, we can select classes and then run report. Then we can see what type of flowers we did. Okay. Now if we want to pull for both red roses and white roses, or I'm sorry, both 
classes and locations, let's take a look at that. To get to the location and class together, I went to the profit and loss detail. And I use the detail because if you remember, the class is per transaction line and the location is the whole transaction. So in other reports, I can get either the location or either class, but in the profit and loss detail, I'm able to get both of them. And what I did was I just made customizations. I selected the location. You can select all or one. I, the class the same and then job where I put the job, um, the distribution account, which is job expenses. And I run report. Um, and it gave me what location I sold what roses in the mount. And um, you can then, you know, export to Excel if you need to do more uh, arrangements or just print the report or, you know, you can um, customize it further in Excel if you like. But this is, um, this is the report that you would use um, that includes location and um, class. Now you can use also, but this is only for location. Um, if you type in, um, let's see, there is purchases by class detail. Um, and I know there's location reports, uh, purchases by location detail, but those give you one or the other. And I wanted both. And in order to do that, I went to the profit and loss detail. Okay, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that you find this helpful. And if you would like to see more tutorials, QuickBooks tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more how-to tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you on the next one.